Good evening and welcome to ACF USA News. I'm Sam Chigma. And I'm Taco and Jang. This is the 2011 African Christian Fellowship National Conference in Los Angeles, California. Sam, how was that lunch today? <laughs> that lunch was pretty delicious. Um, minus the rolls. The rolls were a little dry. A little dry? They're not like my mother, you know? <laughs> I mean, I didn't really eat the rolls, but I have to say those oatmeal raisin cookies were really, really good. And healthy. Definitely. So a little, bit, a little bit of the highlights of what went on today. We had praise and worship. I mean, how would you describe that? Um, a mix of awesome and great. <laughs> The Lord was definitely in this place, and it was just great. So what else went on during the day? I mean, I know, I think I did some interviews with some people um, about the relationship talk that Uncle Hubert gave us. From? My name is Chidra K. Conte. I'm from the Southern California chapter. Can I get your name, please? Edgy K. Uh, what chapter are you from? Uh, Atlanta chapter. And if you can't pray tonight, and then you went quickly and said, God has a plan. Mm -hmm. I got different teenagers' views about what... A relationship entails and how it should be started and such. We just came out of a session really teaching us, it was a young adult a session teaching us about relationships and how to go into relationships and how to eventually build a relationship towards marriage. We had some amazing sessions this evening and so we went to go into one of those. Caroline covered the keys to a great marriage, really focusing on older adults. What's yes. that yes. class about? Conflict resolution in marriage. So what was your, um, what did they talk about? They talk about how you resolve conflict in marriages. This is your wife. So you should never prefer your mom, you know, to your, to your wife. And that's the only advice uh, he gave us. Am I just being selfish? Do I understand my children and their needs vis-a-vis -vis age? Time and circumstances. Being real and being personal mm -hmm. about some of the um, key strategies that they've employed mm -hmm. um, while they've been married, and, mm -hmm. and there's no magic bullet yeah. to, to having a, a, a happy, successful marriage. They have problems. They call on me, and I pray with them. I take them into my office and shut the door and pray with them, so they know to call me when they have problems. I have problems praying with people. Um, Counseling people about the Word of God, and I'm not ashamed to say I'm a Christian and I'm serious with my faith. Partnerships that we need to build. First is a, a partnership and relationship with the, our African American brethren, as Josephs that were sold into slavery. We had a similar session on keys to a great message. This one was focused more on newlyweds. The Bible said the two shall become one. And it doesn't have an exception. It doesn't say except in the arena of money. Uh, rather, we'll rather over communicate than under communicate. Um, and when you're equally yoked, you're communicating about the same thing. Your goals are the same um, and they're aligned. Just talk about everything. You know, if something is a bit more difficult for you, talk about it. You know, and you know, that way you discover strengths and weaknesses. And I mean, you can never learn enough. That does sound very interesting. That's a great session. It was. You actually did some field work uh, coping with family tragedies. Yes, it was. It was very intense um, going into there and just they were talking about how you should support people beyond just the initial stages of the tragedy. So if someone dies or loses a job, don't just support them for the one month, but keep them in prayer and lift them throughout. So that was really powerful. Did work and it relates to other people. So this sounds like a really really intense session. What did you come out of? With this, with this session so far? We have been learning a lot about um, dealing with a tragedy or how we go about consoling or comforting or other people. Aunties and uncles, you might be wondering what your kids were doing all day. Uh, don't worry, we have the scoop on that. It was like, I guess I was doing an iceberg. Yeah, yeah, something So today was a long day, long. and so much happened, right? A lot, a lot. 
So. And if you want to find out what's going on today, tomorrow, two days from now, you need to log on to acfusamedia.org. Or you can also catch us on African Christian Fellowship Facebook page. A lot of this is going to be on there. I know uncles and aunties, you don't know how to use a computer. Get your sons, daughters, they will show you, trust me. Exactly. Well, have a good night, all. Thank you. Bye. Tomorrow is Saturday. It'll be during breakfast as well as uh, during lunch, and it'll all take place in LaGuardia, LaGuardia Room. So, like, what are some of the things that you guys will be testing for? Yeah. So we'll have three stations. We'll have a BMI station, we'll have a blood glucose station, and then we'll have a blood pressure station. Okay. And what should people do before they come? People should know that if they would like to have their blood pressure or their blood glucose taken, they should not eat for six hours before. So I understand that that might be a little long for some people. Uh, so if you if you really want to do it, you can come during the morning when you fasted, you know, at night. Okay. And do you guys need any help? We do actually. We need lots of help. Um, so if you are a nurse or a physician or any you know practicing healthcare professional or even a student. You can come out tonight at 7.30 p.m. to the LaGuardia Room, and we'll be having a sort of brief orientation for volunteers. All right, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thanks.